Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video is a little bit different from things that I typically post. Today I'm going to be trying out the TikTok beauty hack, which is where you put your powder on and then your liquids. So there really is no rules to makeup, but it's kind of going against what everybody typically does which is liquid and then powder. So without any further ado, I'm gonna get you guys zoomed in and then let's get to work. This video here is the video that I'm referring to. This woman talks about putting on your moisturizer first, then putting on a translucent setting powder, spraying with finishing spray, putting on a primer, and then putting on your foundation, and then going about your contour and highlight, however you typically do. And supposedly this trick has been used by many people, and it's just supposed to make your skin look flawless and like clear, like it looks like it's photoshopped, but it's not. So let's get into it. The moisturizer I'm gonna be using today is the Confidence in a Cream by IT Cosmetics. All right, I'm just gonna take some of this and put it all over my face. Definitely got too much, <laughs> but that's all right. And then we're just gonna rub this in like normal. Washed my face this morning with the IT Cosmetics Confidence in a Cleanser, as always. In like 10 of my videos, I have showed that cleanser being used. It's my absolute favorite, and then I just pair it with this moisturizer, typically. going to be using this translucent setting powder that I got at Walmart. This powder also comes with like one of these um, pads to put on your face and I typically like doing this one rather than a brush because I feel like the pad itself absorbs all of the moisturizer and just gives you that matte finish. All right, so after I use the translucent setting powder, the video says to go in with a setting spray. I'm using the Lasting Fix Setting Spray by Maybelline New York. Oh, it has to smell so strong. <laughs> now we wait for this to dry. All right, I zoomed you guys in a little bit closer so you were able to see a little bit of a more in-depth, zoomed-in, focus frame of my face. Um, this is my face after the moisturizer, setting powder, and setting spray. I do think that the setting powder like really does help matte your face and give an overall like balanced tone of like your skin color, so I did notice that right off the bat. Next, the video says to go in with a primer, and I actually do not use primers. Um, I've done a lot of research myself, and I've watched a lot of videos from like dermatologists and estheticians where they just say that the ingredients in primers typically cause more damage than they do good. It just clogs your pores more than it should, and it can actually cause acne. I also wanted to say that I technically use a foundation, but I do use this. This is also by IT Cosmetics, and it's like a sunscreen with a tint, kind of like a BB cream. It is anti-aging, and it's like SPF 50. So I'm just going straight in with this for my foundation. <laughs> this is how much I typically do. As you can tell, it looks like a BB cream, just like a tinted moisturizer, basically. All right, now that the foundation part is on, I'm going to be taking the Tarte Shape Tape, and I'm just going to be applying a little bit. I do not like to go heavy, because I really don't like to feel like my face is like caked in makeup. Just more of like a light, natural look. Patting this in. All right, so this is after the foundation and concealer. 
I think my skin looks like pretty evenly toned out and it looks pretty full coverage. I mean, this is definitely not a full coverage foundation by any means. Um, I don't even think it is a foundation. So this just proves this trend can work if you don't want to use all of the supplies that it says to. I'm going to be finishing up my makeup look with some bronzer, highlight, and blush. I'll be using this Tarte bronzer. For blush, I'm going to be using this blush by Lancome. For highlight, I'm going to be using the Tarte Glow Palette. Lastly, for my lips, I'm going to be using this NYX Butter Gloss. This was the final look that I was able to make with this TikTok hack. I really, really think it looks natural and beautiful. My face definitely looks like it doesn't have very many imperfections. It gave my skin an overall nice glow. I would really recommend this to anybody who wants to try it. All right guys, for this makeup look, you got to see everything that I used. Um, in this video, I was testing the powder before liquid makeup trend that has been going around on TikTok. I think it turned out really well. I think it looks like I have a flawless photoshopped face. Um, just, it looks like there's no imperfections on it, to me at least. Um, I really like this look, and if you guys too, be sure to give this a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you guys like videos like this, let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up and I will do more makeup trends. Um, I can do makeup tutorials, anything that you guys want. Just let me know, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.